Hi everyone. So I am here today to show you how to remove your color street nail polish. I already did one hand. I'm, I'm about to show you how to remove it on the other. Um, really you can use this for removing regular nail polish um, and lots of other ways that you can um, use this method too. This is how I do it every single time. I like to um, it's amazing to get off glitters, even if it's not Color Street. This is an amazing way to get off your glitters. Um, but again, this is how I do it every single time that I take my nail polish off. So first, um, I am going to show you guys, this is one of my favorite products um, that's not Color Street. <laughs> it is a Mineral Fusion Nail Polish Remover. So this is typically the nail polish remover that I use. Um, I use these little um, cotton pads. Um, and I cut them up into fours. So I just cut them really small. You don't need a whole lot. So um, I only use, um, you know, two or three pads to take off my polish. Um, you can also use cotton balls though. I do have cotton balls as well. And then I usually will just, you know, kind of tear it up um, and use the cotton balls too. So you can do whichever you have around your house. Um, but I take it and I'm going to wet it. Just a quick swish there. Um, a lot of people ask why I love a mineral fusion. One of the reasons why I love it is it's really good for your nails. So I also have these little nail clippies here. Um, so this is um, what I use to take off my polish. So you can either lay it in there or put it on top of your finger. Um, and then I just push my finger down and it holds the polish remover on there. Um, I usually leave it on for about two to three minutes. Um, again, I usually don't time myself. I usually just do this while I am watching TV. Um, I typically do my manicures before I go to bed at night. So um, I do it while I'm watching TV. Um, so I really don't even notice how long I have them on my fingernails, but I would say anywhere from like two to five minutes. Um, just if I'm like, you know, wrapped up in a TV show. <laughs> um, but another, um, if you are not using something like a Mineral Fusion to take off your nail polish, um, I would go ahead and make sure that you just get something that is non-acetone. So Mineral Fusion is non-acetone, but um, a lot of non-acetone removers will work. Um, I just like this one because it has a lot of different um, things in it that are healthier for your nails. Um, and I personally have really um, brittle... Um, nails so I have to be really careful with what I use on them um, and again I'm just doing this I only do one hand at a time guys I made the mistake when I first started using color street um, I had on a glitter set and I made the mistake of trying to do all 10 fingers at once and it ended up looking like a glitter explosion when I went to go take them off because <laughs> I had um, 10 on and it was really hard to get the clippies off with um, so many on your nails so um, I do them one hand at a time now um, and I take my time. So I'm gonna keep these on here for just a minute or two um, and let that soak in. Um, another thing that I'm gonna share with you guys today is a base coat. So you do not, like Color Street is an all in one. Um, so it is a uh, base coat, uh, color coat and a top coat. So you do not need to use anything other than Color Street. Um, but if you do have really brittle, um, bendy nails, I would say, um, they're thin, maybe they're cracking, maybe you had shellac or something on them, um, acrylics, and you're trying to repair them, you can use, like, um, I love the Nail Envy. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a little bit, um, but it's Nail en Envy for soft and thin nails. Um, so I occasionally will apply this underneath my polish um, if, you know, my nails are starting to get thin or something like that. Um, they are actually doing really, really well. Um, I did break my middle one, <laughs> but typically they're a little bit longer than this. I just kind of filed them all down a little bit. Um, and then a couple like tidbits while we're waiting for these, um, and you can even like twist it around in there. I kind of move around so that way the polish comes off a little bit um, while it's in there. I do have two layers. So on these two nails, I have two layers of polish. Um, so I did double up on those two. Um, so you can double layer your polish, which I'll get to that in a different video. Um, but anyways, um, I do love our... Um, we have like a color street nail file it's not for sale um i do give it to my hostesses though if they do ask for it so um you do have to um either book your own workshop or a party um so i love 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 my color street nail file 
Um, another thing that I'm kind of featuring today is when you spend $50 with me, um, and this is throughout the party, it doesn't just have to be today. Um, if you spend $50, you're gonna get a free starter kit. So what this has in it is the nail clips. So it comes with five nail clips, um, a glass nail file, which when you get to the day to where I'm showing you how to apply a set, um, I will talk a little bit more about the glass nail file. Um, a rubber ended tipped cuticle pusher, which is amazing for applying your, your polish. Um, and then a 2Z sample for you to kind of practice with. Um, so I call it my little starter kit because it's kind of everything that you'll want to have um, to take off your polish, to put it on. Um, don't get me wrong, you can do Color Street without using any of that stuff in that bag. Um, but it just makes it easier, <laughs> right? And we all like easy, we all like quick, and we all like fun. So I love, um, I love giving those out to people and they love getting them. So um, that is one of the specials that I am doing. Um, so I think that's pretty much most of the stuff that I had to show you guys. Um, another thing, um, just for like general nail, nail care, I do not buff my nails. Um, I used to buff them um, and I realized since I have such thin and brittle nails, um, that it was not doing my nails any justice. It was just making them thinner. So I will occasionally buff them if I start to get any ridges in my nails. Um, but for the most part, I try to make sure that, um, I am not buffing them. I will use this occasionally. Um, you know, if I get like a split in my nail or something and I need to kind of like buff it out and make it even. Um, but for the most part, um, I do not use a buffer all that much. So if you have thinner nails, I do recommend staying away from a buffer. Um, okay, so I am going to start to remove. So you just undo the clippy and then you're going to just wipe it off pretty much. And I had, I don't know if you guys saw what I had on, but I had um, like an American flag set. So you can see that it just wipes right off. And then I do still have a little bit in the corner there. So I'm just gonna fold it so I'm not touching the polish that's in there. Otherwise it will stick to you. <laughs> That is how I ended up with a glitter explosion. Um, and then I just kind of rub it from side to side. And then it's completely off your nail. So super easy, super simple. You don't have to, um, you know, really put a whole lot of effort into it. It pretty much, the polish just slides right off. So again, on there, you can see it. Um, and then I just fold it over and I get anything else that's on there. Um, so it's really quick, really easy. And I love using this method to remove my polish. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, also drop in the comments of this video, what is your favorite nail polish remover? If you have a favorite nail polish remover, let us know what it is. Um, I know a lot of people love the acetone. I am a non acetone girl because it does, it does flake your nails. Um, but this I have always had just amazing results from. Um, so drop in the comments what your favorite nail polish remover is. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.